Hello everyone, Assalamualaikum. This is a short tutorial and in this tutorial we'll see how block works and how to rebuild a stateless widget after the initial state has been emitted. Now to work with this, first over here I have created a simple state class, abstract class, and then based on that class we have an initial state. So this would be triggered when we first load our page. And the second time we want to reload our page and update data this state would be emitted and as this state emits actually it would load data now to load the data we have to trigger an event now for this reason actually we created an event class and based on that class we created another event class so this event class would be triggered if we want to reload our stateless widget uh, given these classes, we will go ahead and create our block. Here is my block class and this block of course have event and states and at the beginning initially it will trigger this initial state. Well, after initial state of course we can load our circular progress indicator and then over here we have defined another event. Now this event is called load initial data which is this one. So this event should be triggered from our UI and as it does over here we're going to load this items and emit a state. This state, actually both of this state would be read from our stateless widget. Now at the top we have main function and then my app, material app and after that over here we have my page. And this is the page actually where we have block provider. We have used block provider to create blocks. Remember my block, the one that we created early. So this would get injected in our child. And what is our child? This one. So my page content is a stateless widget. And over here at the same time, we see that we have added an event, which means that actually we are triggering an event. Now earlier, because this my block has been already injected, so we'll have initial state available in our my page content. And at the same time, Later down the road, we'll see that this state, because this is an event that would get auto-triggered because we are using cascading operator from this block. Now, let's come over here and take a look. Now, we know that block builder is a Flutter block widget, and all it does is listen to all the states that's being emitted. Now, we know that first we had this initial state that's being added over here or emitted. And then we know that this state also has been emitted, right? So both of them could be checked over here. Now you see that my page content is a stateless widget, even though it's stateless widget, but we have block builder within this stateless widget. So it can read and rebuild the UI. So if you want to read and rebuild the UI, you have to use block builder and then you can do conditional state. You can read all the states that's been emitted and based on that, you show actually a different UI, like this is a UI and this is another UI. So the idea is, if you have a stateless widget, you can use block builder, and within the block builder, you need to listen to the different states. And at the same time, you have to make sure that in your block, you are emitting. And at the same time, in your block, you have to make sure that you are emitting states and those states could be found inside block builder and then we'll rebuild our UI. 